Hey everyone, welcome to the video series of Amazon Data Analytics Speciality Exam. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In this video, we will talk about the exam overview. We'll start off by talking some of the prerequisites that you need to have before taking this exam. Technically speaking, as long as you have $300, then you go for it. But my recommendation, anybody who ever taking this exam, should have a couple of years of data practitioner, especially data engineering experience or analytics experience, and some level of exposure to the cloud computing. Because we don't wanna waste our money. It's like it's an expensive exam, need 300 USDs, and it's a specialty exam too. So the topics we are covering in today's video are uh, like types of questions we get, uh, what, what's, the ex like what's the expectations from exam results when you uh, to pass it, uh, what's there are some unscored content and what kind of t like a candidate should not take this exam and finally we will uh, like close with the content outline for the exam okay so we'll start with the like type, type of question there are like two types of questions that's going to be asked multiple choice or multi-response so in multiple choice in these questions you have to select only one correct response and the other types where you have to select two or more correct responses out of five or more options. The questions will let you know what type of response is required, whether it's single or multiple response. It won't be a, like a guess game. So if you talk about the exam results, to clear this exam, um, you need minimum 750 score out of 1000. And there, uh, and there are like scaled scoring models is used for this exam. So what that means is like some questions have certain difficulty levels and uh, are like a different scoring pattern. So if you talk about in layman terms, like some questions will, like some difficult questions will have more weightage uh, over like uh, simple or easy questions or straightforward questions. And in exam, uh, pretty much like any exam, there are distractors or you can say incorrect answers, which is, um, which is just to make sure like uh, the candidates have uh, like a good grasp or like a good understanding. They, they have the full skills to clear the exam. So that's, as I mentioned, that's pretty much like any other exams where you will find uh, answers which uh, seems right, but they are not. And the unscored content. So there are like 15 questions uh, in the exam which, uh, uh, which are unscored basically that doesn't affect your score. Uh, so even if you correct them or like if you, like they're wrong, like it doesn't impact your score. Uh, AWS collecting this information about, uh, j just about candidate performance on the unscored questions to evaluate these questions for future use. And uh, like what kind of, uh, and the, uh, the last uh, topic on the slide is like, uh, what is considered out of the score for this target uh, for the target candidate or basically like uh, I'll say like what people or like whoever is giving the exam should not uh, um, should not uh, uh, focus on these things because they're not part of the exam so first uh, the first is the design and implement of machine learning um, uh, like it's, it's as I mentioned it's a data analytics exam which is more focused on like data engineering and data processing and all those things. So like machine learning and implementation is not part of this. Uh, implementing container-based solution, that's also not part of it. Or uh, utilizing high-performance computing, not part of it. And the last piece is like uh, any online transaction, like OLTP database solutions, uh, which generally uh, coupled with like any application development. So these things are not part of, uh, uh, of, this, uh, of this exam. And the last thing I wanna like to cover, uh, last thing I wanna go over are the exam domains, uh, which are defined in the exam guide. I'm going to uh, attach the link to the exam guide in the video, please check it. Um, so if you look at the content outline, the first domain is the like uh, the collection domain that makes like 18% uh, of the exam. What it does is basically determine the operational characteristics of the collection system and also the ability to handle certain frequency of data source types of processing and all those kind of things. Uh, uh, the next domain is the storage and data management that makes up 20%, that's the, sorry, 22% of the exam. Uh, what 
uh, and what we need to do uh, to de to do to determine the uh, what we need to do in this like is determine the operational characteristics of storage solutions uh, for analytics whether like a, uh, that could be s3 or depending on like the use case uh, which uh, aws stores we use like it could be s3 redshift dynodb elastic search etc and third domain is the processing and uh, this is the this is the last uh, largest portion of the exam like it it have uh, i'll say like every fourth question is related to processing uh, so here we need to we will need to determine the data processing requirements uh, for various scenarios uh, um, based on the use case such as like uh, like do we need to do streaming and if we're doing streaming what services we're using or like batch processing and similar uh, the fourth domain is all about like analysis and visualization which makes up like 18% and the last domain is the security that's also make up 18% of the exam uh, it's 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 critical if you think from um, uh, from the like not just from the exam but also from the like experience perspective like or like uh, even from industry perspective like the last piece is like whatever you're building uh, like a whatever data analytics solution you're building we need like a, like a governance around it like access uh, so that plays an important role if um, if you think from that perspective so these are like five domains that make up 100% of the exam um, so that's all for this video please stay tuned for the upcoming videos and have a good one